the examples of thermoplastics that example is melanamine i forgot to put root ma so this is melanamine in thermoplastic plastic so next we will move on to characteristics of plastics first one is plastics are non reactive what is this non reactive see plastics are not react with air water or any other substances like if you get the iron rock in nature or outside after several time or a year it will rust rust means corroded by exposing water and water uh, air but here plastics are not react with any water or air or any other substances that's why most of the chemicals are kept in plastic bottles so plastics are non react then plastics are light strong and durable this three word term is important plastics are light light means we can easily handle and strong strong means if the chair means it balances the weight up to 100 more than 100 right so it will strong enough then durable durable means it will its life is several years plastic chairs then plastic bottles we can use several times so plastics are light strong and durable third one is plastics are plastics are not conduct electricity or plastics are poor conductor poor conductor of heat and electricity that means if we look into the iron it will conduct heat and it through it electricity is passed but in plastics poor conductor it won't allow to pass electricity so that's why it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity these are the main three characteristic property of the plastics then we will move on to another topic that means plastic hagire environmental friendly agirutha agirutha so plastics are not environment environmental friendly why in a nature two types of material is there one is biodegradable material bio degradable bio degradable material and one more is non bio degradable what is this bio degradable what what it means bio degradable material it will decompose decompose by nature through bacteria that type of material is called biodegradable material what is biodegradable material biodegradable biodegradable materials are the materials 
by through bacteria it will decompose that type of material is called biodegradable material then what is this non biodegradable material it will not decompose that much easily not decompose not decompose through natural process that type of material is called non biodegradable material now is plastic is biodegradable or non biodegradable it is non biodegradable because it not decomposed in may natural natural process it is not decomposed decom decomposed even after several several time also if we throw one plastic means it will there on it is not decomposed not decomposed but if we throw leaf or paper piece it will after several time it will decompose into the soil but plastics are not non biodegradable that's why it is not environmental friendly so we can avoid plastic usages in daily life of course we require we are we are always using to store foods to store water water bottles you are also keeping in water in water bottle you see that is also plastics so we have to avoid because it is harmful to nature because if we burn the plastic means it releases poisonous air it will affect to our body only and even main natural nature also because air pollution happen so several problem occurred by burning burning of plastics that's why we have to avoid plastic usages in the daily life these are the important characteristic property of plastics and relation with the environment biodegradable and non biodegradable plastics are non biodegradable that's why it is not environmental friendly these are the main content of the chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastics